children earlier bharatanatyam was considered to be a system of dance described in the natya shastra which could be shown in four different forms sadhan children kuchpudi was originally the dance of the devadasis as a part of temple worship a devadasi whose name meant a servant or dasi of god was an artist dedicated to the services of a temple devadasi families were specially trained by natuvanars dance masters devadasi system was abolished in the beginning of the 20th century because devadasis were being wrongfully exploited by the men of the society a law ending devadasi system was enacted between 1934 and 1947 in bombay and madras presidency due to the efforts of shri bhagya reddy verma the nizams also had to abolish the devadasi system in hyderabad Despite the ban the families who were connected with this dance preserved this dance form E Krishna Iyer was a trained dancer who opened up a music academy to promote this dance form He wanted Bharatanatyam to be revived again and be respected as an ancient dance form Soon Bharatanatyam attracted young artists from respectable Brahmin families Initially met with shock participation of the girls of upper caste changed the public opinion in favor of reviving the art two such women were kala nidhi narayanan of mylapur and rukmini devi of adyar rukmini devi's husband dr george arandel was the president of the theosophical society and dr anni besant was their family friend Both of them worked for India's freedom and the restoration of its ancient culture. They encouraged and supported Rukmini Devi in all her ventures to promote Bharatanatyam. Rukmini Devi's debut performance in 1935 won appreciation even from the orthodox community of Madras. Her reforms of costume, stage setting, music and theme overcame the objections of conservatives. who thought that bharatanatyam was vulgar she went on to found the kalakshetra institute to which she attracted many great artists and musicians together with them she trained generations of dancers an association of devadasis joined the effort to revive bharatanatyam under the leadership of the legendary dancer bala saraswati Bala Saraswati also promoted the traditional art of the Devadasis minus the reforms saying that they were unnecessary and distorted the art staying true to her Devadasi lineage she achieved great appreciation for her expertise in dancing the revival of Bharatanatyam in Indian society allowed many natuvanars to resume their training activities and bharatanatyam soon became the most widespread and popular of the indian classical dance forms it soon achieved international recognition as one of india's treasures today it is a demand for learning it rather than a growth in its audience or sponsorship that fuels the spread of bharatanatyam due to sheer number of aspiring dancers natuvanars no longer are the only trainers of dancers in institutions like kalakshetra experienced dancers trained as teachers educate the next generation but even more students now learn privately from individual dancers The role of the natuvanars is taken by dancers or musicians with special training. For most of the dancers, Bharatanatyam is today a secondary career or a profession for those with family support. Only a few dancers can devote their entire lives to training and developing as dancers. To earn more money, most of the dancers start teaching students early in their careers. These circumstances have resulted in declining standards and diminishing audiences. 
not to one hours are longer there trained dancers becoming the teachers bharatanatyam is subject to many innovations whether these innovations prove to be good or bad only time will be able to tell us so children in this class we have learnt about the different art forms and artists of andhra pradesh in the next class we will learn about a new topic till then see you goodbye and take care bye bye